Okay, so what we got in the shop is a Komatsu forklift with a inline six cylinder engine and the complaint from the customer is that it does not have power at higher RPM also but basically it just falls flat okay so what we do is we hook up a vacuum gauge to the manifold okay crank it Oop. starter's missing all right try again okay so that's an idle and our vacuum right now is really low. I mean, I should expect it to go maybe 20 something, right? Okay, slowly increase the RPM. Go. Go ahead. More. 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 Alright, it's now struggling. Okay, you've seen that. So when you slowly increase the RPM for any engine, it should be staying close to where the vacuum is at of idle, right? So, it could be there's a vacuum leak, that's why vacuum goes away, but that shouldn't be the case because we're revving it up, we're opening the throttle, so the vacuum should stay as close to where it was at idle. The other possibility is you cannot breathe, where your exhaust gas is just backing up into the intake manifold. And that's where we at right now. So what we're gonna do is gonna try to take out that oxygen sensor and see if the vacuum okay, so changes. We were trying to take out the oxygen sensor. Couldn't do it, it's stuck in there. We don't want to ruin it. We tried to take out the flange bolts. It's still not cooperating. Seems like it's gonna break. So we decided to opt for a more high-tech diagnostic uh, process. So right now I have my pressure transducer hooked up to one of the cylinders and sync on the ignition red trace would be my pressure sensor pressure transducer and blue would be the ignition sink okay crank it one more time okay let it run for a while let's stay at idle for a while Okay, slowly increase RPM. Okay, let it go. Okay, kill the engine. Okay, I guess right now it's pretty much evident what we have. It is confirmed that it is a plugged exhaust. So let's zoom in on one of these. Let's just put some uh, filters to clean it up. Okay. Slowly raising the RPM. So this is going to be our exhaust plateau. So looking at the pressure averages out, I'm already at 13 PSI. So and then once we slowly increase the RPM just about right here at the end, our pressure towards the exhaust, that's a whopping 42 PSI. So this is a plug that saws, be it a catalytic converter, which is the more likely culprit, but it is a plugged exhaust. So what we're gonna have to determine now is now we really have to break that bolt if we have to heat it up, open it up and see if it becomes better. Okay, so we already know from our last test using a in-cylinder pressure transducer that we are dealing with a plug exhaust all right so now it gave us now more evidence to really spend the time to take that oxygen sensor out okay so now it's out we still have the uh, vacuum gauge connected to it okay let's gonna crank it now it's gonna be loud but you can see that the vacuum now is at the green mark which is gonna be 
20 inches of pressure. So the engine can breathe. Let's try to wrap it up a bit. Okay, that's all I wanted to see. So this is now going to be a plug exhaust. Now whether it would be the um, catalytic converter, which more likely is what it is. Uh, now the customer has to approve this because we potentially might have to take the water weight out or you know take the radiator out just to get at the catalytic converter and the muffler but for now diagnostic is done so we know it's going to be a plug exhaust.